I'm Sandy Welfare, Executive Director for Women in Technology. Women in Technology is a nonprofit here in Georgia where we empower girls and women to excel in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. WIT has programs that encompass from the classroom to the boardroom, WIT girls, WIT campus, WIT forums, as well as our special events. We do programs year round, and more importantly, it's all about education across science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. WIT's goals are to ensure that we have enough uh, women and girls excited about the STEAM, the STEAM fields, more importantly that we have enough girls in the pipeline to be a part of the hires for companies that have not yet uh, come to Atlanta, not yet been designed, or even for the co companies that are currently here. Our thought is to ensure that Georgia is the state that has the highest percentage of women and girls in STEAM. WIT's mission is to be a passionate advocate for women and girls in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, math, and the arts. Uh, we start with the young girls in middle school, all the way through high school, college, and professional women. We are really trying to make sure that women have a place in the STEAM uh, industry where there is a shortage, and we know that it is a growing uh, area of technology. So we make sure that we are bringing these women and introducing them and being advocates for them in STEAM. We partner with other girls serving organizations um, so that we are bringing um, STEAM and programs that expose young women to STEAM in um, areas outside of um, the Atlanta metro area, so or outside of Atlanta, I should say. So we're going into um, underserved areas as well to make sure that we bring these girls um, the opportunities for science and technology. So the partnerships we forge with companies are a result of these companies wanting uh, to really help us with the mission and advancing the wish mission of a WIT. So we uh, partner with them because it is very essential to them and something that they want to do. And they're one really loving being in the community. So um, those partnerships are very important. We know that in the next few years, um, we are expecting a large growth in the technology field here in Atlanta. And what our real mission is, is that those companies that are growing or coming here don't have to go outside of Atlanta to find talent, that they have talent within the Atlanta metro area. So with us partnering with companies and other girls serving organizations, it allows us to be able to be ready for those new jobs coming in. Uh, we want to be the state with the largest number of uh, women in STEAM, in the STEAM field. And so our mission every day is to make sure we're bringing these programs to girls so that they learn in the school, but we are providing for them um, exposure and experience to be partnered up with a lot of, of the companies in the area. We see WIT growing um, and expanding. Uh, this year we've expanded to areas where uh, girls um, are not ex exposed, exposed to um, technology and to STEAM. So we see in the next few years that it uh, today WIT is just under a million dollar organization. We see it growing to be um, you know two three million dollars uh, in uh, revenue because we are doing and expanding in, in the whole state not just in the Atlanta metro area. So we do see it growing and getting bigger. At WIT, I'm an advocate for our scholarship programs. I spend all year long advocating for our scholarships and our events. And the events are job shadowing for young girls in relation to STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts has been added, and mathematics. So we have monthly events where we get together and corporations do sponsorships so that these young girls can actually meet people like myself that work in technology and have for the last two decades. One of the events I participated in was held at Georgia State. I had no idea what we were going to do with the young girls. And when I got there, I was exposed to their virtual reality setup that's inside the college. Each of the girls got to participate and flow through an entire body in a 3D rendering. They got to do drawings of hearts, lungs, 
and use uh, these boards that were able to map out what was happening from a health perspective all over the world. I personally had no idea that our college here locally had this type of technology and I didn't know that we were able to present it to all these young people that have come from all over the Atlanta area. I actually recruit people year-round to come and volunteer at WIT. Every event that I work in gets me genuinely excited about the career I chose and when I tell other people what I'm doing they usually raise their hand and they say sign me up for the next event or how do I get involved in the event. So in 22 years of doing what I do I'm connected to people that have the resources to get involved sometimes they don't have the time but when I need people to help with these young girls it's usually not a challenge. I usually have a list of people that are wanting to come and volunteer and help all the time. And if you are interested in investing in our future, not just the United States, but globally, this is the kind of organization to get involved in.